in the center of the universe. You think this place, this wee hamlet out on the Midwest Plains, out in the middle of nowhere, is dreary, dull, boring. In many ways it is. And just as many, it is not. There, see that small house, the modest weathered clapboard cottage. In there is the most captivating, most tantalizing, stimulating, the amusing, infusing, taut and shapely figured form, sweetly, mesmerizingly featured woman, any man has ever seen a sight and delight of wonder beyond imagining until revealed. Every part a delicious perfection. Erotic, exotic, makes the whole of my existence soaringly sensuous, a symphony of joy, transcendently uplifting, emotionally enthralling. I am made rapturously blind by the honey plays of anticipations that dance in my imagination as I consider the place. Do not save me. She has such spell-binding wiles and ways. The very cosmos swells and sways to her seductive touch, her turn and gaze. Along her paths, across her floors, through her open doors she comes, and there in every step, beauty comes walking. Her subtle, sublimely amative, voluptuous, erogenous, arousing, purply, pinkly, sparkly, supple, ethereally aphrodisiacal manner and movements lift me to the stars. The angels there point the way. There, the aura of all that art and passion can promise glows and shimmers and glitters in full array. In those nights and days when I am in her space, when I cup and kiss her face, trace her form in every place, slew and slow my points and senses toward her. As a hummingbird points its beak into the nectar of the flower, the center of the universe is there deep within her eyes. The beckoning of her thighs where she stands and where she lies is all so ineffably sublime, if only beauty could freeze time. If only beauty could freeze time could freeze time could freeze time Stop.